Barbara here from Travels with Lobo and Barbara to tell you about my visit to South Africa's mother city, Cape Town. It's the second most populous city in South Africa after Johannesburg. It is the seat of the national parliament, making it the legislative capital of the country, as well as being the provincial capital of the Western Cape, one of nine provinces of South Africa. Located on the shore of Table Bay, Cape Town is famous around the world, among other things, for its beautiful harbour and Table Mountain, subject of our previous blog. As a tourist, the best way to sightsee in Cape Town would be to go topless on the hop-on, hop-off bus by climbing up to the second level that is topless, meaning it has no roof, for the best views. For the purposes of this blog, I spent most of my time in the lower enclosed area of the bus to cut down on wind noise. Also, the lower level was air-conditioned and therefore much more comfortable. They have a variety of bus tours that cover the whole region. Here's what we saw on the red, blue and yellow tours, all done in one day. Greater Cape Town, with an estimated population of 3.74 million, is one of the most multicultural cities in the world and is a major destination for expatriates and immigrants. The ethnic and racial composition of Cape Town is 42.4% colored, 38.6% black African, 15.7% white, and 1.4% Asian or Indian. Economically, it is Africa's third hub city, with the main economic drivers being fishing, clothing and textiles, wood product manufacturing, electronics, furniture, hospitality, finance and business services.
Earlier, I referred to Cape Town as South Africa's mother city. South Africans like to give nicknames to their cities. Legend has it that in the 1930s, a local Cape Town newspaper claimed that Cape Town was the only city in South Africa that could justly call itself a metropolis, a word based on the Greek words metros, meaning mother, and polis, meaning city. Hence, the nickname Mother City was born. City sightseeing Cape Town Hop On Hop Off also offers a harbour cruise that starts at the famous V&A waterfront. That stands for Victoria and Alfred Waterfront. What a charming area and what a charming name. Queen Victoria's son, Prince Alfred, began construction on the, of the harbour in 1860. The first basin was named after him, the second after his mother giving birth to the name V&A Waterfront. It is known as a destination to shop, enjoy food and drink, explore history, work out and relax. It is the happening destination of Cape Town. blogger Greg of Lazy Days Travel from Australia writes, I honestly thought that South Africa was the most dangerous place on earth behind Af Afghanistan. I hope you are okay. Hi Greg, thanks for your interest in our blogs. I can't comment on South Africa in general, but in Cape Town we never felt threatened or afraid. However, our hosts did talk of the danger of being robbed or assaulted and warned us to be careful when we were out and about by ourselves. Cornelia and I have both traveled quite a bit by ourselves, alone that is, and feel we have street smarts. We are constantly aware of what is going on around us. We don't flash any jewelry or large purses or draw unnecessary attention to ourselves. Danger may be lurking, but it never came our way. <laughs> <laughs>